Okay. Well, thank you uh, to everybody for being here, and thank you for the organizers for the invitation to do this. Um, after these two great uh, general place, uh, context setting talks, I'm afraid you're going to have to listen to me being very self-indulgent and drilling down into the one preprint server that I know quite a bit about. Um, it's called BioArchive. It began uh, three years ago. It was launched by my colleague Richard Sever and I. Um, and we work at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, which if you are not aware of it, is a research institution uh, just outside New York City. But for 80 of its 125 years, it has been a place where scientists came to share their work. So there's a long tradition, really, of sharing and, and criticizing um, that has gone on on our campus. And so in many ways, BioArchive is a logical extension of something that the lab has been doing for a very long time. Uh, the server is hosted by HiWire Press. It covers all of the life sciences with some tentative steps towards clinical medicine and also a section, a rather lively section, on scientific communication and education. Um, it is modeled, we haven't said much about the archive, the physics and math archive, but it really we should honor that uh, project as the pioneer. And BioArchive is modeled very frankly on the archive, except that uh, technolo technologically and with terms of features and functions, it really resembles what biologists expect rather than physicists. Um, it's not for profit, it's free to uh, both read and to submit to. And at the moment, it is the largest repository of life science preprints um, in the community. Um, so I just wanted to step very quickly through the process of submission. This happens to be that very paper that uh, Lisa referred to from Dan MacArthur um, uh, on the EXAC project. Um, very, as a submission uh, advances, it picks up various forms of metadata, which I will not go through in the interest of time. Um, there is a screening process, which again, I don't have time to go into, but basically checks out these questions uh, that I've listed below. And then uh, the uh, manuscript arrives on the BioArchive site with a, an abstract in HTML and a, and a download button. And it has a DOI. Um, and uh, when it is revised, and this paper was indeed revised um, about six months after it was first posted, then all the versions remain available. And then when it is finally published, we make a link to the published version. And Dan's paper got it got onto the cover of Nature, which just goes to show that preprints can be published in real journals. Um, submissions uh, to BioArchive have risen uh, steadily uh, from the beginning and are in a rather sharp growth phase at the moment. We now have over 11,000 of them. Um, I'm not going to talk much about revisions, but interestingly, close to 30% of these manuscripts are revised, sometimes multiply. Um, there's a huge number of um, there's a huge number of authors involved and institutions in over 90 countries. I think the ceiling's oh, is that what it is? I thought I've heard of bringing the roof down, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Um, so this shows you uh, the curve of acquisition of new content. Uh, we just closed May last month. Gee, this is really bad. This is sort of like being a comedian in Glasgow on a really bad night. <laughs> there, are, there are some a few spare seats closer to the front. Come on, Mark, this has to be your fault. <laughs> okay, are we... Um, shall I carry on, or do you want to do, do more people... Do more people want to, want to move? <laughs> okay, the flood doesn't seem to be uh, increasing yet, so I'll, I'll be quick. Um, all right, so we, we, have, um, we just had the largest number of, ma of submissions we've ever had in a month, a large number of revisions as well. Uh, usage is also very, going up and rather strong, and basically we get about a million um, amounts of accesses and general traffic in a site in the month. A popular feature of BioArchive has been this... Um, what we call BioArchive for journal transfer. This gives people, the authors, the opportunity to submit, to submit their manuscript directly 
to a, an increasing number of journals from within the site. Um, and we also have a mechanism for uh, in which journals can can wow that really is sound. It's really, That's really pretty impressive. It's moving. What do you think? I think yeah. you should. Yes. Yes. Right across the hall that's open. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to suggest that we have a field trip today <laughs> and move across the hall. Yeah. And you keep uh, talking, John. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember who said it. Après moi, le déluge. Has this happened before? Yeah. What happened? Wow. Life is never done. Yeah. 